we want our buttons activity 1, 2 and 3 to navigate to information uh, that we have. Now this information is going to be held in frames 5, 10 and 15 but it's very good practice to hold this information in a different layer so I'm going to insert a new layer and call it information. Notice that in frame 1 there is no information whatsoever. Um, the next thing we need to do <coughs> is that activity 1 information is going to be held in frame 5. So go to frame 5 and insert a keyframe. The activity 2 information is going to be held in frame 10, so insert a keyframe. And the activity 3 information is going to be held in frame 15, so insert a keyframe. I just chose those keyframes because they were just good, solid, sensible numbers. Next, we've lost our buttons. They're back in frame 1. We need to make sure we can see them all of the time so we can navigate. So to do this, we need to ensure that we insert frames all the way, all the way up to frame 15. So I've highlighted those two, and Control Z, little mistake there, and um, inserted a frame. So now when we move the playhead, we can see all the information all the time. OK, back to frame 1. Using the text tool, we want to put something in frame 1 that, so that we know that we're on that particular um, frame. And obviously the, a good idea would be to, let's call it, let's put the word home in there. H-O-M-E. And using the selection tool, I'm going to position that one accordingly. So we now know that we've got that in the right position. You can now go to frame 5, which of course there is no information there, but we can still see the buttons. Using the text tool, we could put activity 1. And again, position it so that you can see it nice and clearly and you could continue this with activity 2 and activity 3 and I'll, I'll let you do that okay um, in fact I will put activity 2 in because it, it suits my my design purpose so let's put activity 2 excellent and position it so it can be seen. OK, now I want you to see what happens when we run the movie. Control, test movie. What happens is it's going 1, 5, 10, 15, 1, 5, 10, 15, and never stopping, and none of the buttons work yet. And this is, a, we need to stop this. We need to, the movie to open and it is to sit on the home page. So we need to use some code. Now to do this, we need to lock our information layer. We need to insert a new layer and call that layer AS2. I, I, that stands for Action Script 2. We need to be in frame 1 and we need to open up the Actions panel. Now if you can't find the Actions panel, you will find it in the window here there for Actions. Okay, so we're in um, AS2 frame 1, it tells us here. And the code that we need to use, the code that we need to use is in the is in the global functions area. And we want to use timeline control. We want to control the timeline and we want to stop. Now these words here are draggable. In other words, I can pick up the word stop, I can bring it into line one of my code, let it go, and it places instantly the code that I need. And if I now test my movie, control test movie, it stops on the home page. It's waiting to go somewhere. It won't go anywhere because we've not put any code on these buttons. But we're doing really, really well. So again, back to the timeline. Notice that we've got a little A here now where my mouse is telling us we've got some code in frame one. What we now need to do then is to lock that action script layer. We need to go to the buttons and we need to put some code in the activity one button. Let's do that now. I select the button. I go to the actions layer. 
and now I need to put code onto that button. Notice here, activity one button, it's telling me which button I'm using. I need to use some movie clip code. First of all, I need to say on. Drop down menu, on what? On the release of the button. Now, inside the curly brackets, these means what do you want me to do when the button is released? Well, I want you to go somewhere on the timeline. I want you to go to and stop and activity one information is at frame five. So if we put a five in the brackets, we should have that code in position, ready to test. Let's give it a go. Control, test movie. The movie opens. Activity two, nothing. Activity three, nothing. But activity one should take us to frame five. There it goes, to frame five. How did it work? In activity one, we used on release, go to and stop. Now what you can now do is copy this code, go to activity two, paste, but of course we don't want to go to frame five, we want to go to frame 10. So change where we want it to go and test the movie again, control, test movie. So now we're going we can't get back to the home page. So what I want you to do to finish this project, I want to go to activity one, activity two, activity three. This book will need some code. I want you to duplicate a button, put a home button down here and make that using code take you to frame one. Try it out and see how you get on.